Do you like mathematics with all its intricacies? For some, it's fascinating, while others find it challenging. Throughout history, intelligent scholars puzzled over numbers to discover how they work and relate. One such intellectual was Leonardo of Pisa, also known as Fibonacci. In 1202, he published a book in which he introduced the sequence of numbers that became later known as Fibonacci sequence. In the Fibonacci sequence, the first two numbers are 0 and 1, and each following number is the sum of the previous two numbers. As the sequence progresses, the ratio of 2 of uh, its highest value approached the golden ratio or phi. Very often we can find these special numbers in nature, like in the spirals on a sunflower. The same pattern shows up in the circular layers of a pine cone or in a pineapple and in clusters of conifer needles, DNA, flowers, vegetables, hurricanes, galaxies, animals, and the list goes on and on. So what does all this mean? Did Fibonacci invent or discover this sequence? Has it evolved from another sequence? Well, evolution can't explain the development of mathematical laws, but the Bible can. Scripture solves the mystery by directing us to the intelligent creator. God created all things, both visible and invisible, like math. So, next time you face a mathematical problem, remember the sunflower and praise God for all he has created.